Call the member for Rockdale. Oh, thank you, Mr Speaker. I rise to speak about uh, this government's failure to reach a decision on short-term accommodation, an issue which is affecting many of my constituents and the broader community in New South Wales. Despite three long years of inquiries, option papers, cabinet meetings, committees, widespread public debate and now botched Liberal Party room meeting, still no action has been taken on this important public policy issue. Mr Speaker, people on the streets of Rockdale are asking me why this government, which is happy to wipe out the taxi industry, thousands of taxi drivers and taxi plate owners overnight through the introduction of Uber, has been entirely unwilling to make a decision on home sharing. When small investors and retirees stand to lose hundreds of thousands of dollars each, often from their only investment which they thought was backed by the government, there was no hesitation from those opposite to wipe out an existing industry. I can't imagine what the difference is between the small investors who make up the taxi industry and the massive hotel industry and its lobby. But I have a feeling that the New South Wales Taxi Council should have been employing Premier State as its lobbyist, as the hotel lobby does. Those opposite are happy to walk down the pitch and bash the little guy in the taxi industry out of the park, but they're conceding the ball against the hotel lobby. Mr Speaker, change is inevitable, but when technology is progressing at such a rapid pace, it is the responsibility of good governments to appropriately manage its int introduction in the interest of the people. We are once again seeing this government's failure to take action, and the people in New South Wales are suffering as a result. On the one hand, we have ordinary people who are seeking an opportunity to open up their homes to visitors, make some extra money on the, si on the side to pay off the mortgage and support their families. In an age of out of control housing prices and rising cost of living, it is, in no it is no surprise that there are so many people who are seeking to use vacant rooms in their properties to make a little bit of extra income. I would think that those opposite would take the rights of people to use their own properties as they see fit fairly seriously, considering it is a significant part of your so-called liberal ideology. Mr Speaker, on the other hand, there are many people in strata properties, large apartment blocks and so on, who are concerned about the impact short-term accommodation will have on the amenity and atmosphere of their homes. As I'm sure those opposite are aware, responsible operators within the home sharing industry such as Airbnb already provide their own oversight in which they'll remove irresponsible home sharers who receive a certain number of substantiated complaints from their neighbours. In regulating home sharing, it is important that body corporates have a right to reasonably exclude irresponsible operators, whether that be under an industry regulator or a government administrative process. However, I strongly believe that we should only be stamping out bad behaviour, not interfering with the right for people to use their homes as they see fit, particularly when this involves small operators seeking to take a very tiny slice of the massive accommodation industry. Mr Speaker, those opposite are happy to smash apart the mums and dads and low-paid workers of the taxi industry, but there's a different rule when it comes to their mates in the big end of town. It's very clear that the New South Wales Liberal Party has been captured by the hotel lobby and are all too happy uh, to disregard the member. The member, just to remind you, you that private member statements should not contain attacks on the government about general state issues and uh, should relate to uh, your uh, electorate. You've mentioned your constituents once yes, yes, so it is, to it date. Is, yeah. Mr. Speaker, I refer to Speaker Evans in, in public issues in the public domain on the 24th of the 5th, 18. Uh, just yes, mentioned so it I'll once. Yes. Okay. Thank you. It's very clear that the New South Wales, well, this is a real issue within my, I've got many constituents that are coming up to me on a regular basis on this issue. Yeah, it's very clear that the New South Wales Liberal Party has been captured by the hotel lobby and are all too happy to disregard the, sm disregard the small home, home sharers who are making a few thousand dollars a year by sharing their residence in favour of major hotel chains who are crying poor and holding an irrational fear of any sort of disruptive competition. Mr Speaker, as the residential development industry contracts, we know that historically we've seen more stock devoted to service departments. Is this government going to look after the major service department operators or after the mums and dads sharing their homes? Mr Speaker, I'm sure that the national members opposite are well aware of the importance of home sharing in their communities, with a huge uptake across coastal and country New South Wales bolstering our regional economy. This is yet another case where the senior coalition partner is looking after their big city hotel mates while the Nats stand by and let the region suffer. Mr Speaker, the government doesn't understand innovation. They don't understand industry and they're incapable of making a decision. They've botched the rollout of ride sharing. They've botched White Bay. We've lost Google yet again and now they're unwilling to take action on what, action while, while, while those officers remain beholden to old world oligopolies. 
we will never be able to move forward on these issues in a way that benefits our society as a whole. I had to rush it.